Sneaker guy coming at y'all today with the review on the own feet, y'all. The Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Green. Hey, we're gonna call them Pine Greens, man. We got the Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Greens today, y'all. We're gonna be hitting y'all with that review on feet as well as lace swap, y'all. So, uh, appreciate you guys as usual for stopping through, clicking on the video. And um, go ahead, smack that like button, y'all. And if this is your first time stopping through, checking out any of the family's content, or y'all are returning, man, go ahead and join the family, y'all, by hitting that subscribe button, y'all. We are grinding as you all know that we are on a race to 20K, y'all. We're trying to hit that goal. So uh, if you guys would help us out, be a part of the family, it would be greatly appreciated, y'all. We do a lot of dope things over here, man, such as different looks. We try to uh, do a lot of lace swaps to give y'all different ideas and different ways on how to rock your kicks, man. So uh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well, y'all, so y'all can be notified whenever these hits do come your way. And um, yeah, man, we gonna keep y'all entertained, man. So. Let's go ahead and get into that topic at hand, y'all, which is the Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Green. Bam! We gonna start with that box, y'all. We do get a regular GS looking box on this, y'all. It is that black box with your gold jump, man. Everything else is plain. Normal stickers and stuff on the bottom, y'all. Nothing different. Um, taking a look at the size tag, it does read Air Jordan 1 Low. See my size, size nine, and the color is pine green, black, white. So these do retail for $90, y'all, but your boy had a $30 off coupon, and I ended up paying like 64 and some change after tax, so it was a steal. And um, if y'all been rocking with me for a little while, y'all know that I had been copping uh, lows pretty frequently um, all throughout last year, and um, I had to cop these. Nothing different. I like the lows, man. I'm, I'm rocking with the lows, but checking out the inside of the box, you do get that shoe paper that is um, pretty much like an off-white tissue shoe paper, whatever it is. You got the two, three, and gold written all throughout it, and there is no stamps, no stickers, nothing else that comes with the box. I do see a lot number right here at the top, and um, that's it, man. So that's it for the box, y'all. Let's take a look at the kick, shall we? Bang! Not a bad looking Air Jordan 1 low, y'all. Um, I seen these in person. Um, I had it actually filmed on one of my vlogs and I was talking about it. I was like, you know, they're not bad, blah, blah, blah. And um, I kept looking at that vlog and I was like, you know what? I need to go back and get them shoes, man. And it was a no-brainer once I found out that I can get it for $64. So uh, I went back, had to add them to the collection, y'all. But the Air Jordan 1 low pine greens, dope in my opinion. Let's go ahead and dive into the shoe, shall we? Starting with the outsole, you get that pine green outsole on these, and nothing different, regular Jordan 1 outsole. Moving up, you do get this white midsole going all the way around. Pure white, no off-white cell, none of that stuff, and I like that. I like the, the solid white colors, man. Keep it like that. Moving up to your side pod, y'all. You do get this glossy material. Um, I thought it was uh, patent leather at first. It might be. It might be just like a, a real light coat of patent leather, man. I don't know. It's not nothing thick, though. And um, it's not. It, well, the swoosh probably. The swoosh probably could be like a real patent leather because it does have that kind of thick, you know, feel and look to it. But this, that's over the side areas as well as on the toe box. is more of like a, I don't know, like a a thin layer of some sort of a gloss I, I don't know how to explain it but you do have that on there y'all um both on 
the lateral as well as the medial side and you do have on it on your nike swoosh and you do got a hit of that on your toe box y'all so do got that that type of shine in those areas and um this is like a on your green part it's like a, a i want to say like a venom it's like a venom type material man as you can hear it you hear that got that that type of i don't know venom type of hit to it and uh it goes all the way around as you can see i don't know if it's picking up the detail in it but it does have that look to it it's not smooth it does have like a little type of look to it to where the, the sound the way it sounds when you scratch it should pretty much give away what what this looks like but uh you do have that while we're right here in the back y'all you do get a black air jordan wings logo back there and uh going back to the front like that you have that white toe box there and moving up to the tongue you got that venom tongue and you got that black jump man on it as well as two three written in black come with green laces there are no other extra laces that come with the shoe you buy them they come just with green laces that's it no other laces but moving on from that taking out the shoe tree uh this is a size and a half difference on the shoe tree it does read eight and a half through ten as i told y'all this is a size nine so this is how your shoe tree looks nothing special about it and taking a look at the inside of the shoe y'all you do get a green jump man on a black insole and uh got that green interior as you see all in there and taking a look at the size tag y'all let me see when were these manufactured all right these were manufactured last year from october through november so just a one month production on these shoes um they're actually trickling into different you know foot foot lockers foot actions and stuff like that um i tried to get these from in store and um they were all sold out in my size pretty much size like what seven through nine seven through nine i think it's sold out you you have to order them and um yeah man um i don't know if they're gonna be popping up if they restock the smaller sizes or whatnot but uh as of recent in my area that is you know all the smaller sizes they was gone i had to order these from hibbit and um yeah they came in and um i ain't mad at them they dope y'all um i did post up like a poll asking people if they what they thought about these and it was kind of like a, a mixed emotion type thing man a lot of people said they disliked them a lot of people said they liked them so it is what it is i like them that's why i bought them and i got them for a steal in my opinion but um, we're going to throw these things on feet and we're going to swap it out, man. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions. Let me know which lace swap y'all think goes best with these shoes. And um, thank y'all again for stopping through, man. Y'all stay blessed. Your boy Jay the Sneaky Guy is checking out. Until my next one, y'all, with the Air Jordan 1 Low Pine Green. So, yes, up, man. Till my next one, I'm gone, man. Peace. T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T